I will stay on schedule if I stand right here. If I go over there, not so much. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to thank NASIO for including diversity in the Game Changer lineup. This is a topic that is I am passionate about because I believe that everyone deserves dignity, respect, and that we all bring talent to the work that we do. See, diversity creates opportunity for everyone. And here's a great example why. You're probably familiar with Comcast Xfinity's remote control with voice control. It's like Siri for your, for your television, it's awesome. So the remote is uh, now in 10 million homes and the company and many customers love it. See, the company was intentional about focusing on innovation, innovative technology and products that is available and accessible to their audience. So Tom Ladowski led the team that created this technology and he says, and I quote, focusing, focusing on accessible design ended up, uh, excuse me, he said, and I quote, the future of awesome is accessible for everyone. So focusing on accessible design ended up making a better product for everyone. This is pretty awesome, right? What I haven't shared with you is that Tom is blind and it was the company's focus on diversity and inclusivity that led to what may arguably be one of their most popular features to date. But what is diversity? Why is it important? Diversity is bringing together people of all backgrounds, lifestyles, different races, genders, religions, disabilities, and the list goes on. A diverse organization is one that actually embraces these differences as well as encourages and leverages them for everyone's benefit. But diversity isn't valuable unless there is inclusion in the workforce, meaning that everyone feels respected, welcomed, supported, and valued. See, diversity in and of itself actually creates conflict because of all the differences, but it's only when we are deliberate about inclusion that we can realize the value. See, promoting diversity will get employees in the door, but if, this isn't, if there isn't inclusivity, they won't stick around. See, this isn't just the right thing to do, and it's not about being politically correct. Diversity is integral to growth innovation, and providing products and services that meet our customers' needs. To truly be effective, our workforce must be a reflection of the citizens and the customers that we serve. Diversity nurtures creativity, effective problem solving, and like Tom and his team with the remote, we must harness that talent. It gives us a competitive edge that creates opportunities every single day. When barriers are removed, the results are a culture that allows people to flourish and be engaged, and you'll see higher retention and better outcomes. We know this issue is go isn't going to passively resolve itself. If that were true, we wouldn't even have to be talking about it today. So now that we know diversity is an imperative, what are a few things an organization can do to make progress? I went through and am still going through this process, and here are some things that we've learned. Get with your HR team and find out how your agency stacks up in terms of diversity and inclusion, and work with them to put strategies in place to diversify your organization. These efforts will mean building relationships with organizations maybe you previously didn't have relationships with, and outreach in new places. Get creative about where you post jobs. Ensure your strategic priorities include diversity and inclusiveness statements and key objectives that are communicated as expectations for your leaders. Look at who's working on your most important projects. Are those teams diverse? Make sure your leadership team itself reflects diversity and inclusion. That sets the tone for the entire organization. I have some really great news. We work in a profession where it's our very nature to be disruptive. In order to make real strides in the area of diversity and inclusion, you will have to be disruptive to the status quo and be very deliberate about taking steps to make sure your workplaces are supportive environments for all employees. That may mean some uncomfortable conversations, but they're worth it. You will attract, develop, mentor, and retain the next generations of talent and achieve better performance. 
So I'll leave you with this word of advice. Focus on the outcomes and the value of diversity. Don't just simply define it by the numbers. Diversity done right unites, unites us, and we are stronger together. Thank you.